What do we have, Spirit? Clear intuitive messages, please, for Leah. Clear intuitive messages, please, for Leah. I'm just going to take it. All right, so we got choice, first card. We got negotiating. Learning, security, and then we got domination. So somebody is, could be making a decision, Leo, and whoever this is, they could be talking to other people about you, um, whether this is their friends, their family members, and um, I just feel like somebody may have been taught a lesson and they may have learned their lesson, but we're going to see. Clarify choice and negotiating spirit. Clarify choice and negotiating. We got separation. We got kisses. So you may have had a, made a decision to walk away from somebody, Leo. And um, because we got choice, choice, and we got separation. Y'all, you or or them, roles can be reversed. Somebody made a decision to walk away from the other person. And now they could be trying to figure out on how to get you back. Somebody want to kiss your ASS, Leo, because you walked away. And like I said, they making this decision based on what another person thinks about you. Whether this could be their mom, their sister, their brother, maybe somebody that you got into it with in your family or cousin. And they, I'm just getting this energy where they're trying to get the okay to talk to you and come back. Whoever this is. Clarify learning, security, and domination, please. Yep. Some of y'all got into it with somebody in a family or a friend group. and Or it could just be them. Maybe you got into it with all of them or one of them. But it's like they're trying to get approval from another person. Some of y'all did made, made a decision to walk away because... They had their friends and family members interfere in y'all connection. Even though there was love between y'all, it's like they may have chose other people's approval of you, knowing that they love you. Yeah, this person had to wake up and realize something. And now you're gone. Some of y'all are have learned from this situation and, and you, you ran away. You left. I feel like you are playing it safe right now. A lot of you guys, y'all are playing it safe. Y'all are definitely disciplining yourself. And it's like you staying gone. Some of y'all have stayed gone from this person, whoever this is. It's like you show this person showed they, they tell. You seen them for who they really is, them and their family, and you left. That's exactly what I'm seeing. And now you're playing it safe. Some of y'all feel like you need to protect your heart from this person. Somebody could be married. Somebody could be married. Whether this is you that could be married to this person that wants to come back around. Because some of y'all could have been separated. Maybe you made a decision to split up with this person even though y'all may be married and now they want to come back. The rest of y'all, when you left, maybe you have gained some form of security and stability with another individual some of y'all married somebody it's like after you left this individual this could be past energy after you left this individual you have married another person and some of y'all could be I'm telling y'all this could be a past past ex like it probably ain't even a recent ex it could be a past past ex but it is telling me that some of y'all if this is a past ex that you have left alone y'all could be currently married to a whole new person You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, I'm getting this energy where y'all could, could have been in, in like, like every person you have dealt with was kind of like, I wouldn't say abusive. It could be, it could be like controlling in a way. You see what I'm saying? 
Because some of y'all are in a relationship with somebody right now currently that is very controlling. And this is somebody that you are married to. But they're karmic. They're karmic. Meanwhile, you got an ex that's trying to figure out how to come back. So not only some of y'all are currently in a relationship and married to somebody that is a karmic that probably get on your nerves because I'm seeing that. You have another ex from a long time ago that you used to deal with that is trying to figure out how can they come back and make it up to you. Because this is somebody that does really love you. It's just that you had left because they wanted other people's approval. Like other people was interfering in your connection and they, didn't, they did not stand up for you. So you walked away. I'm seeing that for some of y'all. Now the rest of y'all that are not married to somebody currently, it could just be saying that you are protecting yourself and you're standing in your power. Because maybe you are looking for everlasting love. Some of you guys are looking for somebody that you want to, you see, you know, you could see yourself with until the day you die. You know, I am getting that energy, some of y'all. But I'm not getting that, most of y'all. I'm, I'm not getting that. Some of you guys, it is that. Some of y'all, I, I strongly feel like somebody could be in a relationship with somebody that has a karmic. And then they got an ex that's trying to figure out how can they come back and make it up to you. Because they realize that you were the love of their life. This is crazy. And some of y'all, the person you live with that you're married to, you may have been married to this person for like four and a, four plus years, maybe even nine to ten years. I'm getting that for somebody. Okay, let's keep it moving. That's crazy. Some of y'all got a long lost ex that is really negotiating on how can they come back and make it up to you. I just keep hearing a long lost past ex. Like, even though you know that the relationship that you are currently in ain't good, I'm telling you, for some reason, Spirit having me pick up on this energy for somebody else. This is somebody you've been learned a lesson from. Somebody you've been ran away from. Wow. Somebody could be heartbroken. Wow, Leo. Somebody is heartbroken that you got away from them. Some of you guys' person may not be your physical type, but I don't know why they're 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 hurt. This person is hurt because you got away. I'm hearing you are the one that got away. Meanwhile, I just keep hearing some of y'all are in a relationship with somebody that's toxic right now. But the person that you supposed to be with is the one that is heartbroken because you have gotten away from them. Yes, you left them. It keeps saying that. You woke up. Y'all have came to some form of awareness, but it's also telling me that you leaving this person where they at after they allowed their family and friends make a decision about you, it's like it woke this person up. Some of y'all, it could have been an air sign, a fire sign, or a Pisces. But it's telling me that this is a long lost ex, Leo, that you have ran away from because they broke your heart because of other people's approval in their family of you. Sideways. Clarify wedding rings, karmic relationship. I just keep hearing long lost ex. Some of y'all may not be married. Some of y'all could just be messing with somebody that is married right now. Maybe you could be dealing with a married man or a married woman. You know, but um, I am seeing that for somebody. But it's still a karmic. So if you are messing around with somebody or married to somebody right now, this is a karmic situation. Y'all could be in a lesson. Y'all in some form of experience where y'all, this is for, to teach you another lesson. It's like some of y'all have gone from one situation straight to another situation. But it's all about learning lessons. But it's telling me whoever it is that you let go of in the past is beginning to be... Like, they emotionally all over the place. I'm not even going to lie. Because it's like they waking up realizing that you are the one that got away. Wow, look. The two of cups. This is somebody that that's waking up realizing that you are the one that got away. And they gain to be very impatient because they love you, Leo. Somebody from the past that you ran away from is in love with you still. Even if you're not married to somebody currently. And, and you're just dealing with somebody new. This person from the past is crushed because they wake, they wake, they woke up. They have, this person has been emotionally unstable ever since you have left them. Some of y'all are the ones that just flat out left them for somebody else. 
It can be reversed. Maybe you, maybe somebody in your family and friendship circle didn't approve them. And you left them to go marry another person. Or you left them to go get involved with another person. Like I said, y'all just take what resonates. But it is telling me that most of y'all, this person is crushed. Their soul is crushed. Okay, let's keep it moving. What up, spirit? I just keep hearing you the one that got away. Y'all about to come together with somebody I feel like you is. Some of y'all, this person could be married. The person that you had to run away from in the past, that person could be the married man or the married woman that's coming back. Because the person that they chose over you, that person is, um, it was a karmic, I'm hearing your person listening to friends and family members, they ended up marrying a karmic. Some of y'all, they end up marrying a karmic and they realized that you was there. You was the one. You was the one that got away. They, that karmic stirred up a spiritual awakening into your person because remind you, they chose the wrong person. It stirred that karmic stirred a spiritual awakening in that person. Now they are crushed that they chose wrong. That's what I'm seeing also for some of y'all. But like I said, a lot of y'all are playing it safe right now. I feel like you have gained very control over yourself, your life, you know, and you learned a lot of a, a lot of karmic lessons, especially in relationships. And now you got somebody from the past that want to come back, that realize that you were their soulmate. Especially if you're single right now, I'm talking about you for that section I just said. But wow your person is being guided to come back in your life leo we got guidance divine forces are showing you the way to go you are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose yes your purpose person realized that they that you are the one that got away i'm here chosen they have chose you they have chose you yes then i say i call it out your person is, is waking up your person is waking up i don't know why some of y'all can be a sag some of y'all are Sagittarius. Some of y'all are water sign. And it could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. You could have Sag and Pisces in your astrology chart. But it's telling me that your person is being guided to come back in your life, Leo. That's crazy. I just keep hearing a long lost ex. It's crushed. Yep. This is somebody that put you through a lot. Made you feel very alone at one point in time. Like I said, of course they made you feel alone if they chose somebody over you or if they, you know, listened to friends and family members to get you to choose somebody over you. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that's waking up and realize, you know, that what they have put you through. And now they're going through something and they have no choice to ride it. They have no choice to ride it out. Like literally we got in the flow. It's like they have to go with the flow of life and listen to the spiritual self. It's like spirit is trying, it's, it's like trying to send your person signals. That's what I'm seeing. They're, they, your person is waking up. They come to, why, then I knew it. They have come to, I'm hearing, great realization about you, that you is a missing piece, piece to their life. That world card is missing. That piece is, is missing. You are the piece of their puzzle. You are the piece that is missing in their life, Leo. They know that. And, and like I said, I keep hearing that this is somebody that put you through a lot and made you feel very alone while you were dealing with them. And now it's their turn to wake up and realize what it is that they were losing. And, and it was you. They lost you. I'm off the 
pull one over here and one over there. That's crazy. But I am currently seeing that Leo that some of y'all could be playing. If you single, you could be playing this safe right now and, you know, probably protecting yourself and your, your energy, your heart, you know, um, because you want something that's everlasting, right? But um, it is telling me some of y'all that are not single, you could be in a relationship with somebody and married to a karmic, um, but you have a long lost ex that is crushed because they, the person they chose over you has stirred up spiritual awakening in them and they just realized that you were their, their soulmate. I don't know why, but some of y'all, like I said, Pisces, Sag, Water, or it can be Fire, more Fire. Yes, you are the privileged lady. Then I say some of y'all could be married. This woman has a gown on. It's crazy because it's like it took them to realize that the person they, they put last, which is you, this could be side piece, second choice, however you want to call it. I'm hearing they realize the person they put last is the person that they're supposed to be with. And you are the privileged lady right now. This person really does look up to you, Leo. They look at you as somebody who is very valuable. You know, somebody that deserves to have something valuable, which is to be them. Why do they look at it, right? But they look at you as the prize now. I'm hearing those, the person that put you last is finally putting you first. Your ex, I'm telling y'all. This is somebody that y'all probably wasn't even, y'all probably wasn't even attracted to this person or he probably wasn't even attracted to you or it could be mutual. But when they did that, you left and never looked back, Leo. Some of y'all married a whole other person and moved on with your life. Some of y'all have been single for, you know, the whole entire time and just waiting for that person to come forward. I'm telling you, this person is emotionally crushed, heartbroken because you got away. One more card. I just keep hearing that they are crushed right now the person that puts you last is finally putting you first and this is whether you are already in another relationship or not come on spirit they trying to hold in information wow somebody could be going to the courthouse and getting a divorce whether this is the person that they are in a relationship with right now that they have chose over you that they could be married to they could be divorcing that person or when they come back Somebody going to need to go to the courthouse and get a divorce. Somebody going to need to just file some papers. Wow. And whatever happens from there, somebody's going to be crushed. Somebody's going to be sick because of some form of divorce. If your person married another individual over you in the past, Leo, I'm telling you, they are filing for divorce and they're cutting that person off, literally. Now, the rest of y'all, when this person come back, you may see this person in a different light. They, but it's telling me that they will make it up to you. Some of y'all may not take them back because how they made you feel. Some of y'all may just not take them back because how they made you feel. I'm seeing both energies. Like I said, y'all just take what resonates. But let's keep it moving and clarify these cards. Privileged lady, courthouse, and bad health. I'm seeing both energies. So y'all just take the side how it goes. And y'all can always come back to these spreads, especially if you feel like this is something that hasn't happened yet. You can always come back if you feel like it has just recently happened or, it's just, you know, if it just happened, you come back. But some readings, it'd be like that. It may not resonate for you now, but it may resonate for you later on. Wow, this person is in love with you. They gonna want a fresh new start with you leo literally like this is somebody that they ain't playing they they gonna want a fresh new start with you you are the one that they are choosing it's sad to say that the person they they chose last the person that they put last is the person that they are finally putting first because it's a one right there somebody could have a 12 year old maybe you are the privileged lady maybe you have a 12 year old whether it's by them or not right but you are their wish fulfillment you make them happy, Leo. This person going to immediately want to marry you. I'm going to be honest with y'all. That's probably why another reason why we got wedding rings right here. Some of y'all. But y'all going to be y'all going to be triggered because you ain't going to know that. You didn't know that this person was going to come back. Some of y'all may be a bit 
resentful or you know or triggered or just want to let it go like i said i'm seeing it for both energies but you are this person's wish fulfillment you make this person happy they're going to do whatever they got to do to make it right to, with you some of y'all's person literally is going to want to divorce somebody if they if you know that they are married that's if they are the rest of y'all it ain't that but it's telling me this person gonna want to marry you like literally but some of y'all gonna be like y'all may not take it look i knew it with the two of cups reversed it may be too late we got bad health and then we got two of cups reversed it's also telling me that yes your per I, I feel like y'all maybe not want to do with it because of what with this person because they made you the way they made you feel and you know what's really crazy y'all may not be in love with them no more by the time they come back you have already felt out of love with them you have already felt out of love with them this is i'm hearing you're too late i'm hearing swiper <laughs> swiper to sneaky you pop i'm hearing somebody you gone some of y'all are gone some of y'all it just may be too late you 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 may cut them off. That's all I keep hearing. You are going to cut them off. You're going to cut them off. Some of y'all may not take it because you don't love them no more. It's sad to say that it took them, I'm hearing so many years to realize that, you know, you were the one. But I'm, I just keep hearing the one that put, the one that put you last, but we put you first. Because it, it is sad to say because they crushed. But I feel like you was crushed too when you know, they chose another person or other people over you when you had no choice but to run away. You see what I'm saying? To, to leave this person behind. But it's just telling me that they will be happy to see you, but the love is not there anymore on your end. It, it's unrequited. It's it's not the same. And they really going to be upset because it's too late. Y'all have already moved on. Some of y'all have already moved on, had kids. Some of y'all, when this person come back, you be, could be currently pregnant. Not everybody. Maybe you could be pregnant by somebody else. Like I said, some of y'all may be in another relationship with somebody already or maybe even married by the time this person come back. But it's telling me that you don't love them no more. You, you could be walking away. and and you Because you have already you have already created a whole new life. Period. Fertility. You have already created a whole new life. And yes, sixes. It's all about this person wanting to take some load off your back. Some of y'all could be single parents. Some of y'all, when this person come back, you could be a single mom or a single father, you know, but they want to come in to make your life easier. Even if you got kids, even if the kids ain't even, you, listen, even if the kids ain't even there, they still want to help you. They still want to be there for you. They still want a new beginning with you. They want to grow with you. They want to invest into you, you and your kids. Some of y'all probably have six kids, but it is telling me that a person from the past is coming back to claim their spot. Like, literally, they coming to win you over, Leo. They coming to help you get some that extra load off your back, especially if you're a single mother or a single father. I actually like this energy for real. Some of y'all got a lot got going on by the time this person come back. Some of y'all could, y'all career could be taken off. You know, like I said, I'm seeing that a lot of y'all got so much going on. Like I said, you could be a single parent. You could have, you could be juggling a lot of things in your life right now. And I'm just hearing laser focus when I look at this person with the, looking at that globe light here. It's like, you could be laser focused on your path right now and, and, and gaining and trying to gain your stability. Um, But it, it's telling me that y'all are definitely taking off of y'all career. Definitely taking off of y'all career. Even though this person wants to come in and things are looking good, they want to be more helpful to you. They want to contribute to your life, Leo, whoever this is. This is somebody that found themselves. This is somebody that realized how much you really mean to them. I don't know why. Some of y'all got to be a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart or you could be cross-watching for Leo. Maybe you could be Sag or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or air sign. But this person had to find themselves and walk away from somebody in order to realize what really made them happy and what really made sense. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Like, they had to wake up and realize that 
what really made them happy and what really made sense in their life and they realized that they was wrong by you know casting judgment on you amongst other people it was some form of comparison it was some form of casting judgment i don't know but this person is they want to come back and make it up but i feel like a lot of y'all don't love this person no more I'm going to let y'all make a decision on what y'all going to do with this person. Because some of y'all, I'm not going to keep going, but some of y'all could be putting this situation to rest because you don't love them no more. But it, some of y'all, it's also saying that this person is not giving up. And I'm going to leave that, like I said, I'm going to leave that up to y'all to, to realize, you know, to, to use discernment about whether you want to take this person, you know, back or not. Because despite what this person has put you through in the past, this person does love you. It, it's sad to say it took them to realize that you are their soulmate, but I just feel like well, how they made you feel is more important to you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't blame y'all. I don't blame y'all. I'm afraid to lose you. This person is afraid of you walking away. They're afraid of you, you know, to lose you. Will you leave me like the others? Some of y'all afraid of taking this person back because you're afraid that they will they will leave you. Or it could just be saying that the other way around. But I don't feel like, I feel like some of y'all could be afraid of them leaving you hanging again like they did last time. But it says, what is the truth? Maybe you could be questioning this person. Some of y'all could be trying to get as much information out of this person as possible. Or it could be trying to explain themselves. You see what I'm saying? You are so different from er everyone around me. Yes. But then I say somebody wasn't somebody's type. But I'm hearing the one who is not your type will change your mother effing life, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this is somebody that really cast judgment on you in the past. And they had other people compare. Maybe it was their homies or something, for an example. Maybe they had their homies, you know, judging you based on looks or whatever. And even though this person themselves knew that they loved you wholeheartedly, they literally allowed their friends and their family members and they whoever it is that was casting judgment on you to de decide who should be in their life. And then they left you and they chose somebody else over you. You see what I'm saying? But the person they chose over you stirred up a spiritual awakening into them to wake up and realize that you were somebody that was brought into their life to be with them. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm picking up on. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates. Y'all take care.